It's 4 a.m. As the roosters crow in the early light, Wong Chun Chun and his wife, Feng Li Chun, get up bright and early for work today. Because this very day is a special day. From this day on, the husband and wife are going to be planting the two-month cultivated rice seedlings in the rice field within the week. Perfect enough. Perfect enough for what? For 20 bags of 40 stacks. What do you mean 40? That's 80 stacks in 20 Right, bags. that's 80 stacks, yes. To your math. That's 80 stacks. But 80 stacks of rice seedlings, I don't think it'll be enough. We need at least 110 stacks to be planted in about half an acre. 90 for less than half and 15 for a quarter. 105 in total. For rice farmers such as this couple, Rice transplantation is one of their most important works in the entire year. That's why Wang and his wife give their best to make their efforts count. How do you put them in the truck bed? I just do whatever I can to put them in. I put those from down here, you can pile them up. Jeez. Do you know how many seedlings we have in here? I think we have enough. Yeah, enough for half an acre. Forty-eight-year-old Lu Zhangdong has been the party branch secretary of Duja Village for five years already. He is level-headed and conscientious. Lu Zhangdong is definitely a man of his word. He then built a driveway as well as a public square for his village, and it only took him less than three years under his leadership to accomplish all these. If I pave the gravel road from this area, that would be fine. Then the two pipelines will yes, be well grounded. Yes, that's right. Grounded. That's it's absolutely perfect. right. Uh, Mr. Wang, do you see the gravel road over there? It's your job to resurface the road. Oh, you We're mean counting on you to pave the road there? over there. Yeah. In order to promote large-scale cropping and increase the villagers' income in Duja Village, Secretary Lu Zhangdong stays with a rice company owner and villagers almost every day, hoping to find an effective solution. It seems you have a good reputation among the villagers, so I made the decision. I know, they and I'll deal with that patch over job, there in the know. south area. I'm going to bury the cable underground. It's not a problem if we do it in our village. If our cable accidentally penetrates into another village, if that happens, they may hit us a break. That's not going to happen. I don't want that either. Where's the tractor driver? I don't know. Where is he? Uh, did you send me the driver named Yang who helped us last time? Well, do you know where he is now? He's on a day off. At least find me a replacement driver. I mean, how can I... Find me a replacement driver right now or our day of efforts will all be for nothing. You can't keep me waiting all the time. I got my crew right here with me. I can't keep them waiting. Why didn't he call about his delay earlier? Huh? Half an hour after the appointed time of delivery of fry seedlings, the tractor driver they had hired didn't show up like they expected, leaving Du Dong Zhui in nothing but anger. He should have at least told us earlier. Yes, I know, and you have to tell those people that you won't pay the bill if they don't show up. Yes, that's right, I agree. I know! They took the job but quit when it didn't suit them and then vanished without a trace. They have to tell us about it. We don't have time to a find someone to do this A single call last night would have made it easier. We could have made a plan B. What is he, a rookie? Nothing. He isn't answering. We won't make the furrow today. No one's available. Well, the driver hasn't arrived here yet. Neither Sun Ba nor Lao Xiu is coming. Mm, it's difficult. They should have said so Not earlier. Not a single driver. Not a huh? single one, and I don't know why. 
And that's why. You sure are picky for an old man. I guess you were pickier when you were younger. I'm not picky for anything else, you know. It's because this is my job. If the job's well done, then I'll be pleased. Otherwise, I'll... Hello? Yeah. Yes, okay, I got it. All right, who will you send to us then? Okay, be sure to tell us about your plans earlier next time. I'm quite furious right now, and all my men are here, standing around waiting for you. Is he here? He should be. He should be, be the Don't one getting set. Him, all set. You should tell them, you know. Tell them what you said earlier. Hello? Yes, that's what I'm talking about, getting the job done. All right, I got it. I'm sorry I was too busy to remember any of that. It won't do us any good if we argue. Just get here and help us. Okay, sure, all right. He told me we argued with him and that we didn't give him a call. I suppose that's the reason why. Both Thu and his wife are quick-tempered people. They're intolerant of slack on their cultivation, especially in this agricultural season when all are busy farming their land. You can't blame them. After all, time is money. And even calling them will give me a large phone bill. It's not even raining. Why didn't you come? Well, I came here and you let me go back twice. Then I thought I should have waited for your call. Uh, here, let me help you with that. I believe when it comes to working, old people are always the best workers. They're much more dependable than those youngsters. They're often quite sloppy and inconsistent in work. People our age don't like it. We avoid it. It's not good. During the late spring, on the vast farmlands, dozens of hired laborers work tirelessly all day long. They are diligent and assiduous, the careful control and supervision of rice transplantation. Over approximately 200 acres of farmland truly has never been an easy job for a shrewd and vigorous farmer, especially for the Dews, who are well past their 70s. They try to do their best in their jobs and leave no regrets behind. I finally feel a little relieved. I got so stressed because of the anxiety two days ago. I'll need to be anxious. Mm. You have to take it easy. Uh, farming doesn't happen overnight. Yes, you're partly right. It doesn't. But that doesn't mean I should slack off with my work. I work tirelessly every single day of my life, you know. I see other people have finished their work. Oh my goodness. I don't want to be left behind with my own transplantation. Let me tell you all something. When people start transplanting, most hired hands will be gone. No I'll matter how much you next pay. time, I promise. The seedlings vanish when put into the water. Right. the water. You're an expert in transplantation away. and very experienced. I want you to plant them well, like you did for the other hivers. I want the same How treatment. How can you know for okay? sure? What if something Thanks, happens I'm to not the seedlings? Hungry. I didn't count them. I have under 32 rice seedlings. I have 32 here. Not 32 up north? No, that's more than 60 combined. Hao Yun Rong and her husband contract more than six acres of rice fields. As relatively young people in the business of cultivating the field, this couple also have decent experiences and techniques when it comes to planting rice seedlings. Hao loves her husband very much, and it's become a habit for her to take care of him. She thinks that's what love is. Here, you need to eat. I think the rice will be good this year. Our prices should be. For you and per kilo. Hmm? That's all I want. 
I just had an idea. We should sell to the county town and make more profit. Of course, we want to find good buyers there. Yeah. And customers yeah, are quite right. eager to find real sellers. We have to find a way out selling our rice. Today's the 19th. Our daughter graduates next month. We've been too busy to take care of her. Maybe she isn't eating well. What they care about the most in the world is their daughter. She'll be taking the Gaokao exams in less than 20 days. Here, have some. What's that in your hand? Oh, thank you very much. You're a typical glutton, you know? I'm also hardworking. I endure hardships with you every day. Can I just be a housewife? <sighs> then can I just be a toy boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a better looking wife wearing a mink coat like a cute white bunny. But now I'm so tan, I won't look good even in a mink coat. You'll look like a cute duck bunny. <laughs> More like a black bear. Guangdong province? You mean Guangzhou? Lu Zhangdong's wife runs a logistics company in the county. Although it's a small company, it takes up most of her time. Lu Zhangdong rarely takes care of his wife's work. On the contrary, he assigns her special tasks from time to time. Lu Tzu came here this morning, you know, and he wants and you to persuade Yan Ming's wife and bring her home. Did he hit her again? No, not really, no. They had a lot of bickering, so she didn't want to stay at home mm -hmm. and planned to be away for a few months. You and your friends need to talk to her. I'll talk to Yan Ming about the issue. All you should right. go and settle them down. She left their house when they were fighting and hasn't come back until now. It's been almost five months. Yan Ming is busy with his business. He bought a few chicks and the chicken coop needs to be tended to. You have to talk to Yan Ming. Give his wife he a call later, there, okay? To take her wife home. I mean, there's no way. There's no way she's coming sure, I'll home talk if to he him. doesn't Don't worry. show up. He has to be around too, if you know what I mean. He needs to be there. A large billboard. 1.5 by 1.7. How much for the delivery? From here to Tucha Town. 100 yuan. Deal. From here to Tucha Town? Let's head out right now. The board is 1.5 by 1.7 meters. Wang Shanshun's cooperation with Professor Chen from Beijing is still ongoing. Professor Chen wants Wang to set up a billboard in Wang's rice field where it can be seen by everyone. The billboard must contain the project and business partners' names on it. In order to be productive, he sent his son Dong Sheng to do the task for him. You're saying this billboard can be soldered onto iron, right? Yes. Okay, it can. Here. Thank you. <sighs> can it be put like this? At the end of the day, it's in the rice field where the real challenge remains. The sky is clear and boundless. The weather indicates a good start. Uh, let me see the, the depth meter. Move that a little over there for me, okay? It's on neutral gear. How about this time? Huh? How deep is it? It's set to the shallowest. No. The machine can tune it better. The transplanter still needs some breaking in after it's been idle for so long. Moreover, it's been a year since Wang Shangchun operated this machine. Since it's been a while, he miscalculated the depth of transplantation and the density of the seedlings array. You've done a great job. <laughs> good to see you again. <laughs> uh, good to see you too. It's On the fourth day of recently. transplantation, the Chanjin contractor, Mr. Chi, comes to Chi village. On the busiest time during farming season, his appearance means supervision for the farmers working on the fields. Grasping this unexpected opportunity, Du explains to Chi about their difficulties in farming. Moreover, 
Transplanting hundreds of acres of rice fields is not only a job for Du and his wife, but it's also a great responsibility. Others pay workers 220 yuan for 600 uh -huh. meters. They offer dumpling <laughs> meals. We couldn't <laughs> afford that much. That's right. We pay 200 yuan. Mm. The problem now is a seedling shortage. It's not good. Mm. And we didn't even stop working at all yesterday, you know? Mm. Yesterday, I came here. It was raining hard yesterday, wasn't and it? And I was wearing a cotton jacket and cotton trousers. But in the mm. morning, the rain fell hard and soaked me wet. I changed into another outfit in the afternoon and got soaked again. What a tough day, It was day, like taking right? a shower. <laughs> what a day. Some people have been saying you want to quit this job. <laughs> Whoever said that? <laughs> <laughs> in I fact, mean, I still quit. want more of it, to be honest. <laughs> if you quit it, I'll quit it too. I've been doing it for years. I'm tired. I can't yet. We still have a lot of work to do. My wife was in charge of all the rice seedlings. Once they hire, our agronomists still retire next year. She has hypertension and her blood pressure is alarming. Oh, it's no. It's terrifying. Don't work so hard. I, it's I know, better but it's to kind hire agronomists and get some yes, rest. Yes, I suppose. I think it would be much better for her. an argument with work hands from Fanjatwe. I don't know what it was they're thinking while working. I told them to plant all the rice seedlings all the way to the end of the lane, but I they understand. stopped halfway. I said the other half of the lane is ours, and you can't give up halfway. You have to finish it. And do you know what they said? That they would have refused taking this job if they had known the workload. They said they were here picking up their kids. Yes. And I said, fine, it's okay to pick up kids. You can always come back tomorrow, once you finish the planting. Then I'll uh -huh. pay your check at once. That will be a perfect ending, won't it? It would be a mess if they quit it halfway. They yeah. told me they would have refused yeah, they if they knew the workload so they, they had finish to do. It. Untold hardships lie ahead. I have nothing to fear. Even climb the mountains. More preparation may quicken the work speed. Women like to snatch a little leisure from the busy work and sing a few lines when they're in a good mood. Ahead. I have nothing to fear. Even climb the mountains with head held high. I'm so exhausted. I should have married Lu Nung instead and stayed at home. I've in farming season, villagers of all ages participate in the farm work, mostly women, who are the major force in the transplantation process. <laughs> oh, lasso, this is the famous Tibetan plateau. Okay, break's over. We're singing out of tune. <laughs> this is the first day of work. No need to rush. Try to do it slowly. If the seedlings aren't in line, there will be a mess when we start reaping. Do it carefully. Pay attention to the ground. You leave too much space between the arrays. As a farmer with decent experience, Wang Chan Shun never doubted his transplantation machine or his expertise, no matter what his wife says or doubts about his work. However, he admits that he would have achieved absolutely nothing without his wife's wisdom, as well as her diligence.
My goodness. Hold on, I'll get you a towel, okay? Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I should just hop. You're always in need of a helper. Here Flush you go. Flush it for me? In your dreams. Help me at least. Come on, this is hard. Here you go. You can sit here. Sit on the stool. <clears throat> Don't wear those. They're broken. I'll throw them out. Wear the new boots tomorrow. Shall we delay the planting? It's a windy year. There's no need to delay it. I assume the rice will ripen early. Try this. I made some stir-fried pork for you. It's good for your health. Hao Yunrong's husband, Zhong Hailong, had always wanted to become a rich man. In his point of view, Shen Honggong has always been his real-life idol in this village. I think this autumn will be a great harvest season. Chen R. Li might be a top seller. Well, he's been doing it for years. Sure, but he's only in his 30s. He's young. His sales are coming through. If you it's come up shape. with a brilliant idea, then you'll be next. <laughs> In a few years. He's young and promising. So is Liu Lei. We should make a plan. Sell rice online. It's too make late. New customers. I'm so hungry. I'm so full. No, you should eat more. Oh, I'm tired. Just relax. I'll give you a massage. Here. Is that okay? Oh, All you right. may be a bad cook, but you're really good at massages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm finished. Time to get up. No, not strong enough. <sighs> I've used my hands planting at the fields all day, and I've used up all my strength there. Is that enough? No. Does your back hurt because you drive so much? Do you feel there, better? That's the spot. Hmm? That's the spot. Massage me too. Five AM is the time when farmers start their day of work. As for some Duja villagers who have already finished the rice transplantation, it's time for them to start working out. Village secretary Lu Zhangdong is an aerobic enthusiast. He's a strong man with a muscular physique. He believes that farmers can also achieve a strong body for themselves in this new era we live in. For six years, he has regularly been working out and building his body up. Two years ago, he built a home gym just west of his house. The entire place was built at his own expense. The gym itself was equipped with plenty of gym apparatus. He bought some of the equipment being used. Others are gifts and some he even built by himself. <laughs> Liu Zhengdong loves to train every day. He would often call on his wife, his friends, and even some of his fellow villagers who are interested in fitness so that they can all work out together. Lu Zhangdong is a trainer himself, as well as a coach. He enjoys talking to the villagers about fitness. He loves to share the joy that working out brings to every one of them. <sighs> then that means I'll get slim in just one month? At least five kilos. Uh-huh. At ease! Attention! Everyone! You did a good job today! The movements were well done, and now you must all continue to exert yourselves and work hard to strengthen your body and protect our country. Dismiss! Let's keep <laughs> at it! Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good job! So then we will... Oh, should I carry some of the seedlings? 
You should call Yu Young Chun and talk to him. Most of his seedlings look like ours. His seedlings have diseases. Over half of the rice seedlings have been transplanted. Wang Chun Shun is still unhappy because the seedlings he sowed have plant Other diseases. Other haven't even used biocide on their seedlings, and nothing went wrong with theirs so far. Indeed. But apparently not for my seedlings. I've piled mine up. I've left half a shed of seedlings unplanted. I used almost nothing on the rice field, only about an acre of land. I have to buy rice seedlings after transportation. Zhao Yichu left me 88 stacks of seedlings that she had left over, and then I bought a dozen stacks of seedlings so I can replant them. I paid so much to hire someone. Wow. That was truly hard for me. I know. It's hard for me, too. Look at these. All of these are gun barrel seedlings, you know? Yes, that's right. All of these? These high ones, yes, they all are. <sighs> these are all gun barrel seedlings, sir. Gun barrel rice are the seedlings affected by Fusarium moniliform, or the foolish seedlings. The foolish seedlings are tall and thin, and no rice seed will come out of the seedlings. It is a common bacteria that reduces rice production. I mean, how can we even plant these seedlings? By the looks of them, they won't even stand a chance in the rice field. <sighs> They'll grow nothing and there will be no harvest. In order to get rid of the seedlings of Fusarium moniliform, the farmers usually soak the rice seed into a special biocide to keep them away from diseases. Wang thinks the biocide is where the problem lies. He wants to talk to the farm chemical supplier. I'm telling you these things have nothing to do with us. How can you say it doesn't? I don't think you're actually here for the biocide, sir. Then what else am I here for? Why are you here in the first place? Because your biocide has problems and makes my seeds become gun barrels, rice seedlings. You know what? Test it out. Test it out? It's better if you go to Wuchang Agricultural Technology. You can test it out for yourself over there. I can give you directions. I seriously cannot believe Wong it. Wong never uh... expected that the farm chemical supplier would be this unreasonable. Even though he had collected so much evidence in advance, he was promptly dismissed by the supplier. This treatment really, really gets on his nerves. That man. He's heartless. How much do you have? They gave you another kind of biocide. Have you used it? Should he protect his right to complain, or should he just let it go? Wang Shan Shun is still unsure of what to do. I only controlled myself because Chung was there. I know the Qians and the Chungs have a good relationship with each other. If they weren't close enough, I wouldn't have been so polite. Is that what you said? I'd throw the seedlings on his counter, look into his eyes, and I'd ask him, Do you admit this is your fault? I bought the biocide from you and it isn't working. How can you explain this? You know what? Never mind. He should at least explain. We lost more than 250 kilos. We spent extra money on seedlings. He isn't reliable. His wife is a good actress. I remember. She said to me with a smile on her face, Lots of people buy biocide from us and they don't have a single gun barrel seedling. I know their biocide doesn't come from the they same batch. They are from batch. the same batch, yeah. no. It's impossible that only my seedlings got disease if we use the same biocide. We'll finish planning around May 25th. We've been working from dawn to dusk. <laughs> every day. That road isn't that convenient for our villagers. Yes, that's very true. It should be repaved. It's quite bumpy. I drove here and you should have seen my car. It was shaking. Oh, no. The gravel road northwest of the village is the only feeder road from Shiyi village to Duja village. It has fallen into disrepair and become bumpy. Chen Honggang had always wanted to repave it, so that all the villagers would be able to drive faster. That's why he comes to Wang Chan Shun, the village head, and plans to get his support and his help. The road needs repaving soon. Too many pits on the surface. Yeah, that's exactly why. I'm planning on buying a few trucks of, of, of rock in order to pave it as soon as possible. Sure. 
so all the villagers will be able to drive on the road much safely. Is that okay? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> of course you can repave it. That's such a nice thing to do. You're truly <laughs> supporting this village. As a matter of fact, I want to use my own money and find a forklift. I was planning to repave the road manually and get some help or something like that, but it's going to be difficult. Uh -huh. It's hard to do right now because it's farming season and it's hard to find helpers. True. It's not an easy thing to do, so I think a forklift would be perfect for the job. But you'll spend a lot of money on this, won't you? Well, it's no problem, to be perfectly honest. I just want to drive safer on this road. Uh -huh. Plus, it'll be more convenient for our villagers to drive on the road when it's done. Of course, I'm sure you will. That road is so bumpy that I even noticed there were so many holes there. Yes, I know. North of Lanyon Company to the power station. Yes, I've seen uh, it. The road is in a pretty bad condition. You know, that's wonderful. You're doing us a favor. You're the head of the village. If yeah. you say it's okay for me to do it, then I'll prepare for this with all that I can. Mr. Two, hello. I was wondering, when will the truck arrive? It's already half past 4 a.m. Okay, in 10 minutes then, all right. Please hurry up and get here. I think it'll be much better if we get this done before everybody starts to leave their houses for work today, yes. Uh, by the way, how many trucks will be here, huh? All four trucks will be here? Okay then, please tell the drivers to pour aggregated rock every 100 meters on the road. Don't let them forget about the distance, every 100 meters on the road, you got that? Huh? Okay, no problem. Is the truck here yet? It will be very soon. <laughs> By the way, I'm it's sorry to problem. wake you up this early. It's not a problem. You're doing us all a favor anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the day of Gao Kao examinations arrive. The parents are more anxious than their kids. Hao Yunrong and her husband drive their daughter to school on time. Their daughter is in a very good mood. This makes them a little less nervous than they were at first. All the parents requested to wait on the south lane. Staying over here will only distract the students. We don't want to see that happen, right? It's been an hour. Will she be out soon? Hmm. The exam will end in two and a half hours. Victory for the exam! Thanks Lucky for your good string. wishes. We'll treat you to dinner later. Hey, where Lucky do you think you're going? Lucky string to pass the exams. Lucky string! Buy some lucky string to pass the examinations. You should buy some and give them to your children. This is for their safety. Look here. The red string is for succeeding. Its red color represents being undefeated in the midst of pressure. The police mm -hmm. will open the green channel for you when they see that you're holding the red string, so it's good if you buy some. Really? Yes, for good luck. It's not expensive. And <laughs> I can give luck. you an extra one for free. For good luck. Here you go. Take it. Well, I'll thanks. get it for I you. I'll one. get it. This is nice. It looks very good. It's about one hour before the end of the first Time examination. By. Most of the parents outside are probably thinking, how's my child doing right now? After All parents hours are the of same. answering questions. Yes, I'm sure these parents are very nervous about how their children are doing inside right now. You can't now. scold her later, no matter what happens. The there are still more exams to take. You're right. Mm -hmm. What does our data show? This is her first exam. I'm sure she'll adapt better to the second one. It says mother should wear a tongsum. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really have to wear one? Which means initial victory. <laughs> Well, we um, have to wear something too. Father should wear a mandarin jacket, which a jacket. means speedy Will success. Will you actually wear a mandarin jacket then? Candidates should kiss the exam paper when they get them, which means certainly passing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's real this funny. This is so ridiculous. It's actually funny. This is the first step. I'm afraid that my child's final score will be low. <laughs> Are you afraid they won't get into university? You have to know their final of score I am, first, but and it then also depends on the college major they apply to. It's not exactly. up to me. In the two and a half hours outside the school, Hao Yun Rong and her husband are filled with anxiety as they wait for their daughter. They get more and more nervous as the seconds tick by. The wait continues. They want to see their daughter smile and see that she's done well. But they're also afraid of hearing bad news from her. Hey! There you are! Woo! Your mom and I were wondering where you were. How was the exam? Why don't you wear your school uniform? Huh? Are you cold? Are you How sure? was it? How was it? Quick, tell us about it. Judging by their daughter's reaction, it almost seems like she didn't do well in the examination. <laughs> was it not good?
even in the busiest farming season. Public dancing will definitely show up on time at dusk on the little square, and they will be performing right in front of the Wuyi village committee. The villagers dance to the rhythm of the music passionately, and little by little, all of their exhaustion dissolves into the wind. This is nylon rope, isn't it? <laughs> These are unbreakable. <laughs> Be All careful, right, here okay? I go. You might fall. <clears throat> It won't take that long, you know. You missed the hole there. Where For is Wong it? Chun Chun's little family, transplantation has come to an end. He and his wife had been hard at work planting the rice fields for a week, including today. Yesterday, Wong Chun Chun went on scale and found out that he was five kilos lighter than he was before. Is that your new box? Yeah. How much is it? 150 yuan. Not bad, you can reuse yes, it. Yes, it's very nice. Just two bags of seedlings. We're here. Don't push, the water will get in. You can't use it properly. It's so convenient. Now we have enough rice seedlings to plant the whole field. Save us much work. Now that they see all the little green seedlings planted in their own rice field, Wong Chun Chun and Feng Li Chun are both satisfied with their hard work. Now all their hopes for this year's harvest were finally planted into the field. Wong Chun Chun and his wife now dream about the future. But of course, they still have to wait it out together. However, they have already seen the light of their victory ahead of them. For now, they muster all their strength to finish what they've started. Some of the eggs are cracked. Just look at them. You want some? No. Do you want some? Yeah, they bought a rice transplanter. It's much easier. They're helping others. Ah. Imagine how much they'll earn in this spring. Here, I peeled it for you. I'm still eating my apple. Just take this and eat the egg first. No Come one on. eats these together. It won't be so dry. <sighs> Can't be good. Just eat. Have an egg. No. Why not? I have cholecystitis these days, you know. How did you get that? Be more careful. That field over there, about three acres, was full of crops in the past harvest season. Much like an incredibly hard-working camel, Wang Chan Shun will probably never slow down or stop his pace. These couple of workers are willing to work much harder for the future of their son. The happiness of their children is what they would consider their whole life's pursuit. It's the last day of Gaokao exams, 
Hao Yinrong's daughter forgot to bring glasses and went back home for them. Thankfully, she arrived at the classroom just in time before the exam could begin. Why didn't you remind me about it? It's not my fault. <laughs> Goodness. That was really close. I was so nervous. I hope traffic wasn't bad on the way. I hope she didn't get upset. Why didn't you remind me back then? I was too busy. I couldn't think of everything. I told you to check before we left. I did, and I thought I had it. The exams are finally over. The candidates look relieved after so long. Hao Yun Rong's daughter is finally showing her long lost smile. Ah, oh, you're finally done? You're I'm finally so happy. Done. <laughs> Hao Yun Rong is excited like a child. She believes her daughter's hard work will finally pay off. And she prays that she and her husband's years of hard work will turn into good crops just in time for the harvest. Come here, come here. It's because I can't reach you. I tell you, you about it in our classroom. Why are you pulling me again? I took the picture on the desk of the classroom. Does it look better huh? than Let my admission see? ticket? It looks better. Does it look better than my admission ticket? It looks better. What do you mean? It's the same picture. Why does this picture look so dim? Oh, well, it looks <laughs> the same nice. to me. This one looks so good. The teacher has the colored picture, which I want a copy of, but we aren't <laughs> allowed to have one. We have more than we need. Just go a little further over there and further follow that there? path. Yes, over there. Drive all the way to Chachiatun. Okay. Okay, that's right. Move forward. Go ahead. Chun Hong Gong knows that villagers are busy working in the rice field, and he doesn't want to bother others for help repaving the road. 1.3 kilometers of road is not that long for him. To him, it's a fair distance to work with. He thinks he can finish it on his own. The road? Yes, sir. Just you. Just me. Wow, you're doing a good thing. Thank you, sir. That's quite impressive. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility, you know. Keep it Thank up, Thank you, kid. sir. But the road was too bumpy and it wasn't quite safe to drive through anymore, especially at night. So I decided I wanted to repave it. Thank you, Arlie. You're doing great, kid. <laughs> Thank you. Is it better now? It's turned flat. It's all flat now. <laughs> Oh, this is marvelous, Chen Arli. Everyone will be happy when they pass through. It's become much wider and flatter now. <laughs> Do you like this road? All right. It's all because Chen Arli repaved the road. <laughs> It's all a rice transplanter's work, you know. I think this one's planted by hand. Soon after the transplantation, Wang Chun Chun and his wife Feng Li Chun are eager to go to town in order to pay a long overdue visit to their granddaughter. Sure, we'll be there very soon. We're setting off now. Wang Chun Chung's daughter, Wang Tsai Feng, lives in an upscale neighborhood in Wuchang City. After years upon years of hard work and effort in the vast rice fields, they have finally purchased an apartment in a car in the city. They're just waiting for us now. So tell me, Mr. Liu, do you also help in advertising for the rice industry in Wuchang City? Yes, sir. 
How was it? Well, uh, now the rice companies in Wuchang have reached 400, both big and small ones. Yes, that's true. The people's government advocates the development of such industries with characteristics in rural areas like rice companies. More and more Wuxiang rice companies have been established as years passed. Yes. And people's income is higher than before, at least thousands more on average than people from other areas. True. Am I right? Of course yes. I am. Hello, little one. Let me see your face. She gets more and more beautiful. I want to see her closely. Yeah. Let me. She's sleeping. Hello, my little girl. Did you sleep well? Did you? Why is she staring at you? She likes She keeps me. looking at you. She, she likes, likes me more. Grandpa very what much. are you looking at? Say hi to oh, Grandpa. Adorable. Here. Give me a chance to hug her. She looks different. Oh, she is smiling. Must be really happy seeing her grandma. Hello there. Are you happy to see me? <laughs> you like to see Grandma? Don't worry. She's I'll crying. hold you in my arms, okay? <laughs> She's scared of you. It's been a month. You haven't seen Grandma for a month, right? Huh? I love to see her smiling. She looks adorable. Did you miss your grandma? I missed you too. What a pretty girl she is. Grandpa misses you too. <laughs> Just look at her face. And grandma? Do you? Do you like grandma? Oh, she just loves to smile. It's so good to see her. Both Wang Shangshun and Feng Li Chun are overjoyed. They're over the moon upon seeing their beautiful granddaughter. All the exhaustion from the rice fields are slowly fading away as they gaze upon their granddaughter. It's almost as if all the fatigue they experience is thrown out the window, replaced by the warmth of their granddaughter's angelic face. Hmm? Do you want to come to Grandpa's house? Hmm? Huh? She's so cute and nice. Do you know what I'm thinking, huh? Do you know what's on my mind? Tell him you don't want to go with him. I'm the one willing to play with you. It's like... like... The photo I have of Dong Sheng lying in bed wearing a sweater when he was a baby boy. She never stopped smiling. Look at her wide eyes. She's adorable. She is. She's always so happy and loves to roll in bed. She likes it so much. You want to crawl? Huh? Huh? It looks like she does. She's stretching her legs. The waters of the ever-running Lalin River cultivates the fields of hope with its love and passion. On the fertile lands, the hard-working farmers of Duja village are playing an exciting and spirited symphony of new rural areas. Summer is coming quickly. Farmers by the Lalin River are preparing for a huge Yanko competition. Will Hao Yunrong's daughter finally receive a letter of enrollment for the upcoming semester? On the dark earth we live in, what kind of happiness will these hardworking people receive that will give them hope and joy for the future? Stay tuned for the latest documentary series by the Lalin River, Episode 3, Rice Fragrance. <laughs>